In this video, I want to show you how to use the select column and add columns DAX functions in Power BI. I'm going to show you the difference between the two using demos. And also I'm going to show you the use cases of when to use one or the other. All of that and more. So without further ado, let's get started. Hi, my name is Fanan and welcome to the Solutions Abroad YouTube channel where we cover tips, tricks and best practices when working with Power BI. I upload new videos every week so make sure you hit that subscribe button and the bell icon to get notified when a new one is out. So let's jump to this demo that I've created for you today. It's a very simple Power BI report that just has two tables, the order details table and the products table. It has a relationship between the two and the order details table just has information about orders, um, the number of orders that were made and the unit price for those orders. It has a product ID, which is used to link to the products table, which contains information like product name, their categories or the supplier name. So let's say I want to create a new DAX table, combining the data from these two tables where I want to get from the order table, things like the quantity unit price, things like this. And then from the products table, I want to take the, um, product name, the category. And in order to do that, we can actually use select columns because that's what it's made for. Before we start with the demo, let's go to the documentation and see what it says. If we look at the documentation here, it says that this select column adds calculated columns to the given table or table expression. So at a minimum, it requires three separate parameters. One is the table that you want to use and then the name of the column that you want to add and then the expression that you want to have in that column. You'll notice that at the end of it, you have um, a box brackets here, which means that this is uh, an optional. So you can have as many of these combinations as you want. And these combinations would be the new columns that you will be adding in this uh, table that you'll be creating with select columns because select columns is a tabular function, which means that it returns a table. So let's go back to the Power BI report here and let's create a new DAX table and we'll create this new table called orders and we'll just name it select columns SC so we can distinguish it between the add columns later. So we'll start typing select columns and it needs three things as I said, the table. So we'll just put order details here. And then let's say we want to first get the order ID from the order details table. So we'll just type the order ID. This will be the name of the column and then the expression that we want to have as a value in this column. So in this case, we want to um, fill it with the order ID from the order details table. So if I hit enter, you'll see that it just gives us the order ID from the order details table. So pretty easy, right? So now let's bring in a few more columns in this table. So let's say we want to bring in the product name from the products table. Now uh, we first need to name this product name. And for the expression, because we've created that relationship between the products and the order details, we can simply just use the related function. And this allows us to access the products column, uh, products table, I mean. And then let's bring in the product name. If I hit enter. So you see, that's it. So you have the order ID and the product name in the same DAX table. Let's bring in a few more things just to try to complete this demo. I wanna bring in the quantity. And this one is simply just the quantity from the order details table. And I also wanna bring in the unit price from, once again, the order details table. If I hit enter, here we go. And lastly, what I want to do is I wanna add a brand new calculated column here called total sales. And this column is simply just to multiply the quantity by the unit price using an expression. So uh, because we have this as a raw context, we can simply do quantity multiplied by unit price. Hit enter and that's it. So you see that the total price total sales is there by just multiplying the quantity by the unit price. And that's really it. So that's how you use the select columns DAX function in Power BI. And it's pretty simple by concept. Now let's compare it with the add columns DAX function. And to do that, let's go back to the uh, documentation here for the add columns. And you notice something interesting here. It says 
adds calculated columns to the given table or table expression, which sounds exactly the same as the select columns. Even the syntax itself, it needs three things as a minimum, table name and expression with the option of adding more and more columns. Where you'll notice the difference is is here in the return value you'll see it says it returns a table with all its original columns and the added ones so it means that whatever table you give to this add columns no matter what you don't have to specify what kind of columns you want to bring in from this original table it will just import everything for you and let me show you or let me demonstrate to you how that works so let's go here and let's say let's try to create a new column or let's say a new table and then orders and then we'll name this one add columns and i want to do add columns here so a table it needs so we're going to give it the order details once more and then we need to put two things uh, as a minimum so we'll just uh, do the same thing as we before we'll do total sales and then for this we'll need to add or multiply the quantity by unit price. So here we go, so this is the difference. So you see here, we have multiple columns already in our new DAX table without having to specify it in the script itself. So we didn't say bring in order ID, product ID, things like this. These columns already exist in the order details table. What add columns have done is they've imported all the original columns from the original table. So if you look here on the order details table, all these four are in this uh, new DAX table that we've created, plus the table or the column that we've just created, the total sales. And that is the main difference. So good use case for the add columns is if you, for example, need to bring all the original columns into this new table that you'll create, but you have a lot and lots of columns and you don't want to define all of them individually, you should and you could use add columns to save you some time. Now let's have a look at some of the use cases that we have for select columns, because I actually use this DAX function quite a lot for a couple of things, like for example, generating calendars using DAX. I also make use of this select columns function when I want to do some appending with my data using DAX. So there is a function called union, which allows you to append data on top of one another. And I actually covered it in a separate video. So if you haven't yet, go check it out. But basically what's particular about this function is that that the number of columns and the names of the columns are quite particular and they need to match exactly right. And if they don't, then the union will fail. So having the select columns to make sure that the column numbers and the names are correct is vitally critical. And this is why I use it when I need to do appending in DAX. And that's really it for this video. I hope I've helped you understand the difference and how to use select columns and add columns DAX functions in Power BI. Thanks for watching. As usual, give this video a like if you found it useful. Give it a dislike if you didn't, so I know to do better for next time. Ask your questions in the comment section box below so I can help you and you can help others. If you really like this video, we have a Patreon page where you can support the channel and get exclusive perks like early access demo files and credits at the end of these videos. Thanks again for watching and see you in the next one. Bye-bye.